The Mayo Clinic is saying that using niacin for depression is basically a miracle cure. Now look, smart people know it's best to use natural techniques, not pills. Here's a free guide, Beat Depression Naturally. With self-help, but sometimes you need a little helping hand. Niacin can help. Niacin is offering hope for millions of people around the world suffering from depression. 6.9% of the entire world population has depression. So if niacin can help, clearly it's a big deal. But does it really work? Does niacin help depression, really? Odds are that one of two things are true for you. Either you have depression or you know someone who has depression. Read, how to help someone with depression, are you yourself have depression at the moment? Hey, we've been there, you will get through this, and we here at the Daily Meditation are here to help, so there is a very good chance that you have a personal stake in this. And if niacin does work for depression then it could probably make a big difference in the lives of pretty much all of us. So does niacin treat depression effectively? What is niacin supposed to do? Niacin is vitamin B3 and is a water-soluble vitamin. What separates niacin from other vitamins is that it naturally helps people to quickly get to sleep at night. Another option is to use mantras to help you sleep, that's huge because insomnia is a leading cause of depression. And, depression is the leading cause of insomnia. Insomnia equals depression equals insomnia equals depression just getting to sleep can make huge difference. You can read more about this on the National Sleep Foundation. Niacin also lowers cholesterol. According to Abram Hoffer, MD, PhD, niacin elevates good cholesterol and decreases the good-bad cholesterol ratio. This is also very important because there is a natural link between cholesterol and depression, which you can read about on Psychiatric Times. But these are not the only ways that niacin helps with depression. Niacin helps with pellagra in a big way according to the Mayo Clinic. Niacin is rated grade A for helping to treat pellagra, which is niacin deficiency and which leads to depression. The Mayo Clinic states, niacin, vitamin B3, and niacinamide are U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, approved for the treatment of pellagra or niacin deficiency. Pellagra is a nutritional disease that occurs due to insufficient dietary amounts of vitamin B3 or the chemical it is made from, tryptophan. Symptoms of pellagra include skin disease, diarrhea, dementia, and depression. There are lots of other niacin benefits too. Niacin looks like it's a big deal. As a meditation teacher I'm naturally skeptical about things like niacin supplements. But experts say niacin helps with all these things, arthritis, cholesterol and triglycerides, reversing heart disease, senility and memory loss, insomnia, sensitivity to the sun, motion sickness. For more on the benefits of niacin, take a look at this article by Dr. David Williams, How much niacin to take for depression, dosage before you begin taking niacin you must speak to a healthcare professional. So ask your doctor before you take niacin. Niacin helps to dilate blood vessels and creates feelings of warmth. This has created the name, Niacin Flush, to describe the way the vitamin makes you feel. Niacin Flush, as you would expect from its name, leaves you with slightly red skin and the sensation of heat. How much to take? Initial dose, 500 mg orally once a day at bedtime after a low-fat snack. Maximum recommended dose is 2 grams per day. Extended release, slow niacin, initial dose, 250 to 750 milligrams orally once a day morning or evening. According to drugs, calm niacin flush when you take niacin it shows because you will feel warm and look a little red. Taking a little niacin leads to pinkness of cheeks, nose and other areas, symptoms which should alleviate after approximately 10 minutes. Taking large amounts of niacin on an empty stomach is not recommended and will lead to pronounced and prolonged flushing. When taking in large doses, the flush lasts longer, says Dr. Hoffer. With each dose the flush decreases and in most patients becomes a minor nuisance rather than an irritant. Common side effects of niacin insomnia. Warmth, redness, or tingly skin. Mild busyness. Itching under the skin. Sweating or chills. Nausea, burping, diarrhea. 
Leg cramps, muscle pain, taken from Wikipedia, what else can you do for depression?